Hey guys, welcome back. So I've been working on putting together the steering for the Speedster here and one of the things I had to make was a mount for the upper part of the steering column. Something that bolts right to the dashboard and supports the top of the, the steering column. So this was the piece I ended up making and it looks pretty simple at first. It's just a flange with a bearing pressed inside of it. But you'll notice that this boss here that has that bearing in it is actually at a five degree angle to the flange itself. So that makes it a lot more complicated because you can't just put this in the lathe and make it all in one operation because you have two axes that this is made relative to. So in this video I'm going to show you how I made this part start to finish just using manual machinery. Um, I thought this was a fun little project. It, this kind of thing takes forever to make and 99% of people wouldn't bother making a part like this. Um, but I really enjoy these sorts of things and I thought that this was worthy of its own video, so enjoy. Okay, so I started by making a couple of drawings here. This is the part I'm going to be making. It has that flat flange at the bottom, and this boss that the bearing is pressed into as that bore goes down to it. That's all made on an axis five degrees off of that flange. So I'm going to start by putting this piece in the lathe. I'm going to, I'll be able to cut out the profile for this bottom flange because that'll be on that um, center axis. And then to rough out the rest of it, I'm going to cut the whole thing at that five degree taper. So it'll taper outwards at five degrees all the way around. And that will match up with, this edge matches up with this side here. And then the rest can be machined away down to those dotted lines as you can see. So by starting out this way, that will um, completely encompass what the final part has. Okay, so you can see now I have um, the blank pretty well cut out there to this picture on the right here. And I took a few measurements along the way, but mostly I've just been kind of um, eyeballing it. And so far, so good. What I'm going to do now is take this piece over to the mill and face off the top here to five degrees so that it's perpendicular um, with one edge of this taper. Then I'll drill a hole through the center out to three quarters of an inch and then that will be my reference point for finishing up um, this part of it. Okay, now that I have this faced off up here, the next step is to create the bore that goes down through 
perpendicular to this surface that I just milled there. And to do that, to line that up, I can't just take the center of this whole thing because this is still tapered out and part of that's going to be machined away. The only point of this that is completely accurate to what the final piece is going to be is this side here, um, which is the, the point on this circle that's perpendicular to um, what I just milled. So what I did is I measured this diameter down here, the smallest diameter of this boss that's up here. And then I took the radius of that and transferred it to um, these right here. And then what I did was I just kind of visually lined this up lining one, one of these points directly with this edge here and then just kind of eyeballed it to center it this way. So I have that point very faintly marked right there. I'm going to mark that a little bit better right now. So that's where I'm going to drill. <sighs> Okay, so I got this turned down now, and now you can really kind of see um, what I was planning for it to look like. Um, so now this is completely turned down, concentric with the hole I drilled in earlier. Obviously though, I can't um, cut this in all the way to the back here, because then when this comes around, I'd be cutting into this part of the flange where it's, it's shorter right there. So I was thinking about just trying to do, those, do this little extra bit here. Uh, with hand files or some sort of um, Dremel tool, but I think what might actually work is if I get the tool in here and then use the little hand wheel on top of the tool post here, I can actually just cut this manually by like manually moving the chuck like this. And then when this comes around, I can just back the tool out and then come back and take another cut and, and just do the little, last little bit like that. Of course, it's super tedious, but it'll, it'll come out exactly concentric with um, what I've already made. So I think this is what I'm going to do.
All right, so there's the finished piece. You can see that bearing pressed in nicely in the back there. It's completely hidden from the front because I left this opening just big enough for the steering shaft to come through. And you'll notice that this boss with the bearing in it is very clearly at an angle to the flange itself. It's only five degrees, so uh, once it's mounted in the car, probably most people won't even notice that. But it was a fun little project. Challenged myself a little bit with some machining that I haven't done in a while. Um, and overall, just a nice, uh, fun, little, fun little project. So that's it for this video. In the next video, you'll see me getting the steering all together. I'm going to show you how I made the dashboard and set up the steering with a couple U-joints in it. And then I'll actually get this piece mounted in there. Um, and you'll see how it fits into everything. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.